Good morning, everyone. Walking through the town of Etna toward this coffee shop, which is the only thing that is open today because it is Sunday. So it's gonna be a mass of hikers here, I believe. Everyone from the, the park that was camped out there is heading here and hanging out, waiting for the rides to get back to trail. We haven't secured a ride yet. We've been trying throughout the morning. Uh, it's kind of been a shit show. All the trail angels are busy and you know, people are going to different places and whatnot, so we're still trying to figure that out. Chap's been down here for a little bit working on YouTube. I hope I have some time to do the same because I did not edit last night after the rodeo. Other than that, nothing particularly special has happened this morning. I got another shower and just ate some junk and hung out for a little bit. Slept in a little bit. So now, coffee time. A horse. Can I, can I get the cow near the, the other person? They have to run out and get up. Oh. All right, guys. Our trail angel dropped us off at this Indian Scotty campground, and from here we have a long road walk to meet up, meet back up with the PCT. It's like I don't know, fucking eight miles I think it's fairly steep too it's gonna to be long and hot and unnecessary miles but we uh we couldn't get our trail angel is having car issues issues with her transmission so she can't make it up this road and she was our only option for a ride so Not a whole lot that we can do. Just gonna have to suck it up and do it and maybe another car will come by and be willing to drive us up here. Well, sure enough, that Jeep that passed by during the last clip there turned around and picked us up. So they drove us eight miles uphill on the, you know, blacktop road to the, um, box camp trailhead so we did not have to do that eight mile road walk now we just have to go we don't know the exact mileage but it's like far out says it's 2.2 miles on this box camp trail to the PCT so we just got saved a lot of time and we're very thankful for that and driving up that road was very long very steep and it's very hot today and so far this box camp trail has been pretty steep as well it's pretty overgrown definitely not a highly traffic trail it doesn't seem but we're making our way and hopefully we'll be back on the PCT soon I'm freaking huffing and puffing like crazy right now I feel like I'm at elevation and I wonder what the air quality is from the fire. I'm probably fucking with my breathing a little bit. You put your foot in? I didn't mean to, I was going up and over it. Two point two miles on the box camp trail are done. So we are back on the PCT. It means that we skipped a twenty seven point zero mile stretch for the fire closure. And I feel fine about it. No biggie. I'll hit it when I come back. So we don't have to do a whole lot of mileage today really. Um, we were planning, you know, on hiking that long road walk, and the fact that we got a ride, um, you know, just saved us a lot of time, and now we can kind of chill today. I think we're hoping to do at least six more, but the more the merrier, really. This stretch of trail so far has been pretty overgrown, but nothing too bad. The views are coming down that ridge 
before we hit the PCT it was fucking beautiful. Tent set up. This is where home's gonna be. We did 5.8 trail miles, PCT miles, and maybe 2.2 on that box camp trail. Uh, so nice short day. Got to camp pretty early. I don't know what fucking time it is, like 6:30 maybe. So that'll be nice to be able to get all our shit done and go to bed at a decent hour for once. Um, we leapfrogged with. Fireball and her squad for a little bit of the day. Uh, they pushed on ahead. And yeah, nothing too spectacular today. A few good views and a lot of steep climbs, at least I thought. I'm so glad we didn't have to do that roadwalk. Today would have been absolute hell. Um, I'm not terribly hungry, but I've got so much food and we're only like 23 and a half miles to side valley where we're gonna resupply again so i have food to get through so i'm gonna get a north side going because they take three hours to cook and yeah catch up with y'all shortly got these Velveeta cheese packets. They have these at Dollar General. It's like three pack of these. And I put them in, I put one of these in the uh, cold soaked ramen that I did for lunch. And it was fucking great. I'm just gonna start putting this shit in everything. There's a cheddar broccoli north side, I think. I'm just gonna dump the rest of it in there. But these are awesome. And now I'm thinking about doing like, Fritos with this shit and like hot sauce. If we want to get real crazy, we can get like rice and beans and do like burritos or like walking tacos or something like that. That would fucking slap out here. All right, y'all. I'm in my tent, ready to start editing and getting ready to go to sleep. Had a good dinner, I'm fucking full. It's not very common occurrence when I'm on trail, but uh, that Velveeta cheese definitely adds some calories, I think. But had a good day, even though it was a short day. It was nice. Tomorrow we have 23 and a half to Side Valley. It is all, literally all downhill. Very gradual decline. And I think the last seven miles are all road walk. So that part should go rather quickly. And on the road walk, there's a trail angel who lives uh, on the road. And he gives beer and sodas and things like that to hikers. So we've been told by multiple people to make sure that we stop and see him. So we will plan to do that. I think that's all I got. Hope you all have a good night. Thank you for watching as always. We'll see you in the morning.